believe when I was younger I did eye makeup and no brows but this is probably what I looked like in high school whoa hey guys it's Amy and I am here to bring you a new product review today we are going to be testing out this NYX dip shape bup, bup, bup. today we're gonna be testing out this NYX dip shape go brow product so this is a new pomade it also has a brush and a spoolie on it I figured this would be a really cool way to test it out and see if you can just do your entire brow just using this so I picked this up on Ulta's website it was $11 it's now on sale for $7.70 so if you want to check it out it's super super affordable I should get this video up really quick so it should still be on sale and I'll go ahead and link it below I'm saying that now I don't know if I'm going to love it or not but we are going to test it out man I look crazy with like these light little nothing eyebrows. My natural eyebrows are just terrible. They like way out here. I look kind of like a wombat or something. And yeah, they're just like little brows. Not much going on there. So it is time to fill in these brows. So let's take a look at this product. It is a long wear brow pomade. On one end you have your pomade. It's basically in like a little tube. On this side, if you twist right here, hello, 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 you have a spoolie. Now when I first saw this, I was like, wow, they included brow gel with it. That's really cool. But it's actually just a spoolie. I was like low-key a little bit disappointed with that. But it is nice. I mean, you could in theory take this with you when you're traveling you only need this spoolie and the brush that's included so it's really compact this is the brush tip as you can see I do feel like personally this looks a little bit thick and a little bit too full but that's just like my first glance at it and I would definitely want to try it out with just the brush so I want to see if I can use this to do my brows and not anything else um, if one brow is not going so good I will grab some other brushes and we can test out the other brow and see how it goes but I'm gonna use I have to unscrew a lot to get that spoolie. I don't know why that's annoying to me. Such a big problem. So I'm just gonna brush my brow hairs up. I did use the Benefit Conditioning Brow Primer. I think it's a Brow Vogue. Just to kind of condition my brows, but it doesn't really have any hold or anything. They still feel really smooth. I should also tell you guys, I got the shade Chocolate. They have eight colors. I picked the shade Chocolate because, I don't know, I felt like I needed something with a little bit of warmth in it. But they have Blonde, Taupe, Auburn, Chocolate, Ash Brown, Brunette, Espresso, and Black. So I feel like that's a pretty decent shade range. I don't like seeing a brow and it's like blonde, brunette, charcoal, whatever it is. It's like, come on girl. We have way more colors than that. You know what I'm saying? But eight is not too bad. So let's get into it before I chat away. So we're going to pull out the brush tip and I am going to dip in to the pomade. Ooh, it's a little bit softer than I was expecting. Let's zoom in. All right. So it's definitely a pretty soft consistency. I am just going to dab a little bit onto the back of my hand. This is what came off just from like dipping in one time. So I picked up a lot of product. Let's go for it. Hmm. First, first, first stroke. I like the product so far, I like the feel of it. It's creamy, it looks really pigmented. So what I typically do with my brows is I establish the middle and then fill in the front hair strokes, perfect the tail, if that makes sense. So I'm mostly worried about getting the color in the middle and then we'll go from there. Now, what I don't like about this is I tend to flip back from brush to spoolie a lot in between. And for me to be able to do that with this product, I need to leave it open like this. So you don't have a whole lot of control. I feel like it'll be fine, but I like using a brush that has more length. You have more control that way. You hold it a little bit farther down. This is like choking the ferrule of a brush, but I can probably get used to it. Like it's not, it's not a deal breaker. It's just a little something different. Okay, it hasn't dried on the back of my hand yet, which is good. I find with some of the other ones, if you try to leave it on your hand for a little bit, it is dry by the time you get back to it in just a few seconds. So that's good that it's not super, super dry. I feel like the color is pretty nice. I'm impressed with that. All right, so that's what we're looking like so far. Not bad, as you can see, like I haven't taken it very far in. I just feel like this brush is a little too thick, but other than that, I'm actually really liking this so far. All right, 
great. I'm pretty satisfied with that. The tail of my brow isn't as sharp as I normally take it, but I mean, it's not bad at all. I usually take so long on my brows because I'm a perfectionist with them and I hate to have like gaps. I want everything to look really even. Um, so brows for me can take a really long time. I do have, I don't know if you guys can see, and it's probably just like excess product and it's dried a little bit, but I've got little chunks. They flick right away. They're not causing a stain or anything, but it did get a little bit kind of like chunky as it started to dry. Not a big complaint though. It still looks really good. So I need to try to work on the front of my brow. The first thing I like to do is with no extra product, just start to fill in and it'll basically give you like a little map of where you're putting your brow. If you like a brow fade, you could probably do this with this. It may not be a hundred percent like perfection, but if you like to have that like super gradient front of the brow, as you can see, it's kind of making that for me. I like to have like that gradient and then do some little hair strokes. I feel like it's like sleek, but natural. I love the in-between. I want it to look sort of natural, sort of not. I just wish I could get my little tiny precision hairs in the front of my brow. That seem to be an option with this, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. So this is one completed brow just using Dip Shape Go. I am very impressed with this. For me to be as happy as I am with this, I think it's pretty good. So let's grab a couple brushes and I'm gonna compare the application of the formula two different ways. All right, so most typically I use two brushes to do my brows. This one is from Benefit. This is just an angled brow and spoolie. This is like my holy grail little tiny hair stroke brush. This is an E, I think this says 35 from Morphe, but it's like rubbed off. I've used it so much. A very small precision brush. It's like a little bit more coarse. It's definitely stiff, but it's very flat. So that's what I'm gonna be going in with. So I'm gonna see if it's worth it to pull out these extra brushes. Okay, so something kind of interesting with this particular brush, this Benefit one, I feel like the pomade is actually going up into the brush as I'm picking it up. And I'm trying to avoid that happening, but I can literally like squeeze product out of the brush. But with the NYX brush, the product didn't sink into it very far. So I think these bristles are a little bit more like plasticky, so it didn't absorb into the brush. So far, I know I'm not done, but it actually has a really nice consistency. I like it a lot, and it's very, very similar to Dip Brow. So I'd love to say like, oh my God, this is an amazing dupe. But in actuality, this is typically $11, and it's 0.04 ounces. Dip Brow is $21, but it's 0.14 ounces. So it is significantly larger. And so honestly, for what you're paying, it's worth it to get Dip Brow, unfortunately. But if you want the simplicity of one product, you have your brush, you have your spoolie, you have everything, then I feel like this is a really good buy. It would be a great one to travel with. But the only thing I'm experiencing so far is that I cannot get the precision that I want to get. So that's why I'm picking up these other brushes, but it's good. It's definitely good so far, but I don't know if it's wowing me. I'm genuinely thinking that my first eyebrow looks better and I love it. It surprises me that I don't like my normal way as much as I like this one. Um, it is a little bit different for me because like I said, I didn't define the front little hairs, but I actually think it looks really pretty and I am thoroughly impressed with this product. I definitely can see myself traveling with this because it's super, super easy and I know that I can come out with this brow. It would probably only take me about 10 minutes to do both brows, so I feel like on the go I don't think you can beat this. I mean, it is very, very similar to the Anastasia consistency. I did the math though. It is a much better deal for the pomade itself just to get Anastasia and it lasts a very, very long time. But if you want the convenience of having your brush, your spoolie, and your pomade all in one, I think this is really, really good. I will definitely add this into my collection. I'm liking the product a lot. I'm, I'm actually impressed because brows, I'm very, very picky with. I use Benefit and I use Anastasia and that is it. 
when I occasionally enter into a new brow product, even if it's like good, it just doesn't match up. But this is pretty freaking good. I'm actually really excited, but let me know which brow you think looks better. Really the only difference I'm seeing is I actually feel like it looks smoother over here, like the color consistency throughout. I feel like it looks slightly more patchy on this one. Honestly, the brow strokes didn't come out as nicely with this particular product. So yes, when it boils down to it like 100%, this is not gonna beat my top two, but I do think it's very, very good. And I would say it's now in my top five of eyebrow products. That's only with one use, so take that with a grain of salt, but I can definitely see this being like a contender as like my favorite drugstore brow product. And that's saying a lot because there's a lot out there, but I have to say, I would definitely give this a big thumbs up. I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. If you wanna pick it up, I would pick it up now while it's on sale. So I will just link it down at Ulta because I know it's on sale for you guys. But let me know what you think about my brows today. I'm so shook that this looks so good. I'm looking in the camera and like seeing myself and I'm actually thinking like, wow, that one's got such a nice fade going on. This one's a little bit more blunt, even though I probably took more time to do this one. So hell yeah, I'm excited about this. So definitely check out the NYX Dip Shape, Dip Shape Go. Um, it's a confusing name, but long wear brow pomade. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Other products that you'd like for me to review, please drop them in the comments below along with your opinion of which brow you like better. But I am thoroughly impressed and thoroughly pleased with how this turned out. I hope you guys liked it. Also, let me know what you think about the backdrops versus my normal setup. I feel like doing a mixture will be good, but let me know what your preference is. I, right now, maybe it's just because it's new, but I really like it. I'm loving the way that it looks. So I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.